<laughs> okay. If you don't know now, you do know Guns and Guns Show live, Madison Square Garden, the greatest city in the world, the city that never ever sleeps. Everyone stop what they're doing, stop, focus, pay attention. I have no idea who thought this was going to be a good idea. My buddies in Mariana's Trench have joined us. What's up, fellas? Hey. hey. Welcome back to New York, huh? <laughs> Welcome back to New York City. Thanks, Thanks for having us, man. Yeah, it's been uh, quite some time since we last saw you here. Obviously, Twitter.com slash mtrench. Let's talk about the most important thing. Josh, your birthday was yesterday. Mine is Friday, making us both Geminis, I believe, right? That is correct. We are the symbol of duality. Is that what or it is? You. Yes, it is. I just thought we were good the in bed. The four of us. Yeah. I just thought we were good in bed, but yeah. <laughs> Either way, that works yeah, out. Every sign thinks that you're good in bed. <laughs> Nobody wants a sign that says you're not good in bed. Right, yeah, there's the, no, there's no like, oh, this is the sign of small dick. Like, there's not a, <laughs> like, nobody proudly, you know. <laughs> right. You'll say you're good in one way, and it, you'll read it how you want to. I'm very sensual, okay? Right. <laughs> now, did you uh, tell us about what you did last night? And uh, I'm surprised you were we, able to wake up today. We went, to, we didn't go hard last night, man, because we had all the press today. But we went to, we went to a ninja restaurant where you come in and you go they you go down this elevator into like a dark hall and then literally ninjas jump out of the darkness at you and they take you to your table and then you order you know food but it's it's all you know it's all ninja based right. at, at the end they brought out like a, it was like a throwing star they gave me a throwing star and put it in a in a, like a <laughs> pot thing and they cover it with some sort of alcohol and then threw in a match and it lit on fire and then I put a lid on it and when I pulled the lid back then there was no throwing star it was a cake in there it was like you know weird right. ma- ninja magic right something yeah. classic ninja move right. really yeah. I, you I, know? I on your way to becoming ninjas all of you yes in, in your yes own way. Kind of like and I did like I did like on the menu that it would be like if you have any questions ask your ninja <laughs> I like the I like little things like that yeah all right well listen welcome back to New York we're stoked for it. you guys are on tour uh it's been a while. As someone that you guys know, I've been supporting you guys since before you guys even toured America. Yeah, man. So I appreciate you guys, uh, you know, keeping it real for for us and vice versa. Uh, it's been a while. Glamour Kills tour was, I believe, one of the first times you guys did it. Then we did Bamboozle. Then you guys yep. did the headlining tour with the so-called Vertigo alleged case. That, that was not that alleged, never... my friend. We played one <laughs> show and I was happened. in the hospital for yeah. two weeks. That is not <laughs> alleged. Okay. And, uh, and then, uh, you know, it kind of went on from there. But uh, this is, I mean, this is really what it's all about. I've talked to you guys the last couple months promoting this. I mean, this is really what it's all about. You guys are killing it all over the country. Talk about it. Headlining. Headlining does not suck, pretty much. Nope. It, uh, it, you know what the worst part about it is? Is last night, or the other night, we were playing in uh, Boston, and I, it was like, you know, there's the, there's the sort of ground floor, and then there's a balcony that ran around the whole top. And I was like, I'm going to run through the balcony. Right. So I went running through yeah. the balcony. <laughs> And I kind of like did a huge, you know, rock jump in the balcony, and I, I I smoked my head so hard on an exit sign, and I took the whole sign off, and I saw a huge flash, <laughs> right. and then I was like a little shaky for the rest of the show. So that's been the biggest downside for me so far. Yeah, it's yeah, just the concussion. Oh yeah, it was yeah. brutal. Oh, really? oh so- in the head, it's like. Yeah, you have literally the size of an egg. Hey, somebody lift Nick in your forehead. Yeah, oh, your eyes look kind of glassy. <laughs> <laughs> I heard the Boston crowd was absolutely insane, by the way. It was It was very loud. It yeah. was very loud. And the VIP tickets, I mean, was a ballsy move to begin with until when they all sold out immediately. And then you're like, well, this isn't that ballsy to be. We told them so. <laughs> I yeah, we knew. We knew. No, we, we had been promoting it. That's great, though. I mean, that just shows how loyal and uh just how crazy the American audience has been for you, which is uh, well deserved. You guys have been, you know, promoting the songs for for quite some time right now. So. It's awesome, man. The whole thing's been uh, the whole thing's been going really great. It's uh, it's it's really cool because like like the vertigo like the alleged vertigo right. tour that you were right. talking about. <laughs> uh, there's I don't know what's 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 changed, but something between then and now is drastically different. I'm worried people are going to start confusing that tour with the U2 Vertigo tour that happened a while ago. Right. It's not the same right. thing. Although it wouldn't be bad if you guys did tour with U2. I mean, Bono is a yeah. regular listener of the show. Hey, so man, Bono loves the gun show. Dude, Bono, Bono, seriously, man, it's cool. You can open for us. Don't even right. worry about it. <laughs> Uh, it's fine, you know. It's Don't touch our rider. And no eye contact. Right. How, how is the rider, by the way? I heard 14 pages. Uh, no. It's, I you know, completely <laughs> made that up, by the way. We just put one thing on each page so it looks like we right, I demand, completely made that up. It's like water, not milk. Right. <laughs> Yeah, Water. I actually uh, I I made one change to the writer recently though, um, from sort of like out of the Iggy Pop page where like you want like I want I want like uh, nine <laughs> nine little people dressed as um, 
okay. gnomes from Snow White to, to follow me around and sing like the hi ho, hi ho. Seven? Seven. Seven. Seven of them. Seven I don't know. I don't know the movie very Sleepy, well. Heavy, grubby, I just heavy, want I just want little <laughs> magical Clearly creatures. He, has, he never grew he never had a childhood. <laughs> yeah. I know. It's sad. It's actually really sad. So, you know, Snow White and the fourteen dwarves. Yeah, that's it's the one. Seven. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are promoting by Four, now right now, which is uh you know, obviously one of my favorite songs. I've always demanded that you guys play that live. Um and uh you know it's pretty much like the fourth or fifth song that you're promoting on this album uh ever after and then you guys did the ep down here <clears throat> sold relatively well still pushing that just trying to do like a little bit of a cock tease to the american audience to be like all right we're mariana's trench here we go but let's talk about like what's coming up because you guys have to be tired of playing these songs over and over again Although you do improvise pretty well, and the stage show is incredible, and you, all your opening track, your opening, your intro is always fun to see what you guys do each tour, whether it's uh, down with Webster putting crabs in. Uh, <laughs> oh my god, dude, that was. <laughs> oh, I've so heard all brutal. about it. Yeah, <laughs> that was brutal. Yeah. Um, I think uh, you mean like what's our like artistically? What's our plan yeah, right like now? What, uh, you got to have plenty of thoughts in your mind. Have you been laying down more tracks? Like what's going on as far as more music goes? Then we'll come back to talk about Ever After. Uh, w- I'm working on some ideas. I'm working on some ideas. You know, there. I think uh, I think the plan is that uh, ideally, what, what's going to happen is is there's going to be uh, a U.S. release of, of Ever After, but with with deluxe. some new material. A little bit yeah, of a deluxe new, version, I believe. A deluxe version, if you will, with mm-hmm. with some new material. Uh, which is yet to be determined, but it's probably going to be, you know, there's going to be some songs on there. Right. I mean, that's inevitable. We're going to have songs, dude. Oh, yeah. don't, don't worry about that. So there's some new stuff then. Right. There's songs. Yeah. There's songs. <laughs> songs, we got them. Yeah, we're taking the band in a new direction, though. It's actually called Pirate Dirge. Okay. Um, so it's sort of like, it's all like, it's all accordion-based music <laughs> mixed, mixed, with dubstep, right mixed with dubstep wobble bass. So it's a lot of like, whoops. <laughs> Oh, whoa, you like that? Right. It's pretty cool. Perfect. Can't yeah. wait for that. It's be yeah. exciting. And I'm, I'm changing my whole vocal style to be like, yeah, da, 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 da. like it's the, the whole pirate like the thing. the pirate thing. Completely. It's really going to blow up. Right. Might piss really off the ninjas, that. though, out there. Well, yeah, but you never see them coming, so. <laughs> If you see seeing a ninja is like seeing like a like a cougar in the wild, you know what I mean? If you see it, it's already too late. I see plenty of cougars on the streets here in New York City, though. Yeah. So got that. Going. Also too late. <laughs> also, yeah, yes, once they come and get you. Twitter.com says M Trench. Uh, so tour's been going on this coming Sunday, though. We're stoked because uh, MMVAs you got that going for you. That's Sunday already. Oh, oh man, that's quick. No, I'm just kidding. Yes, I'm very excited, man. We uh, actually when we looked at this. <laughs> Potential tour. You look like just simply overjoyed. I'm so excited. (laughs) Um, I've ever. We were looking at the schedule. We're like, hey, you guys have to leave a day so we can go up to this this show. We didn't know we were going to be performing on it though until about two weeks ago. Um, and all of a sudden the schedule's getting pretty tight. <laughs> so it's turning into a work day instead of a fun day. But that's still really cool. It's uh, it's, it's something we've done so many times. It's like. Part of our summer, you and know? it's a fun work day. It's a fun work day. Like we're we're always happy to like be involved in, yeah. in a show like that. On national like, television, yeah, yeah, and you know you get to do it, it's such a fun award show to go to because you know you can you can show up with with a crazy red carpet entrance if you want to, and which we always seem to want to. Yeah. You know, in the so. past, you've done outfits and stuff. You, you have the outfits all. You we definitely do, do not oh, have yeah. the outfits picked out yet, dude. Oh, no, no, oh we yes, got, we do. Oh, they've, do you? They've been oh, custom yes. ordered, my man. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, oh yes. yeah. All right, so yeah, Marion Strange knows how to do it. Then, yeah. yeah. This is the most outfit her entrance has ever been, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> Everybody's picturing it right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, they all it's have strong. their eyes. It is strong. <laughs> Envisioning what it is right now, ga- gazing into the uh, yeah. into the sky. Yeah, uh, it's strong. Now, the last time you guys were here was, I believe, the Journeys Barbecue Tour, the Circus Survive, which is kind of, you know, kind of cool, very cool experience, free shows, uh, you know, fun. How do you guys prepare? Here's a basic bullshit question that you have to answer. Uh, <laughs> what mindset did you guys have going into, all right, headlining, we're actually going to be in America for a while. How did you uh, kind of plan that? Just I mean, literally not at all. Yeah. Literally, if I had to, if I had to pick some words, it would be not at all. Yeah, I don't know. It's the same, man. And whether they're paying or not paying, you're you're out there to play a good show. And I don't think it's really different in Canada or America or Australia. Like if you're there to play, you're there to play. You know what I mean? Like I think it's the same mindset we've always had, which is don't suck. Yeah, we just uh, we just sort of wrapped up a big arena tour in Canada, and we wanted to bring a lot of the production elements down to the U.S. I mean, they're smaller venues, so you right. can't get away with the same kind of stuff. But we. Uh, we sort of uh, downsized our Canadian show um, uh, and uh, and brought it here, and uh, it seems to have been going but just, over quite just well. But just from a, the band standpoint, you're like, all right, you know, headline tours are good pretty well. The pre-sale, uh, pre-sale is always a good indicator of how a tour's going to go, yeah. uh, and pre-sale was beyond good. Um, <clears throat> and then 
just from media, from as many press requests as you've gotten each day, did, have you guys relatively seen it build each passing day? Like, like oh, wow, we actually have to do more and more things? It's like it's snowballing on yeah. us, actually. It's been, uh, that part's been uh, overwhelming and encouraging <laughs> at the same time. Yeah. Very cool. Now, uh, by now, we're promoting that as a song, but let's just talk about the the album uh, overall. Um, how do you guys keep it fresh uh, with the live show? So you guys don't go well, Yeah, We add seafood. Yeah. <laughs> Fre- Lobsters fresh nuts. seafood. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> when we want to roll the dice, it's not so fresh. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, I think you keep it fresh with, uh, you know, we don't. We definitely you don't love do your the- electric thing. <laughs> <laughs> cigarettes by the way I keep them I keep them handy you, know, you, keep you love those things though. um I think uh I think the show I think the show stays spontaneous because uh you know it, it's a different crowd every night and the, the stuff we talk about between songs is different every night mm-hmm. and uh Sort of tour to tour, we always change the set list around and stuff. Because we're using the video content stuff now, we can't change the set list night to night as much as we would like to. Uh, we used to just not even have a set list. We would just go out on stage and just be like, what song should we do now? And but, just kind of go like that. Even to when it was like shows that were like way too big when we shouldn't have been doing something <laughs> so unorganized as just calling a set list on the fly like that. Um, but, uh, you know, I think it still feels different every day because you're playing in front of new people all the time, right? Like, most of the people who are seeing us on this, on this tour haven't seen us before. So that in itself is, is a really spontaneous energy, you know? Air Dubai's got a lot of energy on stage, so it's kind of cool that you guys brought them out, different feel to them. Might be something you're going with with the extended uh, pirate music coming out. Could see them being big proponents of that. In the uh, yeah, 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 they're <laughs> they're real piratey. Yeah. Real piratey. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Uh, Marianne is Trench. Um, so we got wrapping up tour. Uh, not really wrapping it up, but we got a couple more weeks of tour, and then what lies ahead? UK is that true or false? Possibly. I can't confirm or deny such okay. accusations. But if you live in the UK, it'd be cool if you guys went over there and saw, played them. It'd be cool if you guys went over to see the UK people eventually. It would be cool to do that. Okay. Yes. It would not suck. Yeah. Uh, there's there's some over there's a, there's a few things overseas that we have not totally decided on yet, but uh, it looks like there's there's always more touring on the on the horizon. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? So yeah, there's definitely more shows coming for sure. Do you guys have you realized since when you've re- originally written the songs and we'll wrap this up because I know Media Day is crazy and you got to keep all. No. Um, thank you. Appreciate that. Uh, the. Uh, that when you first originally wrote a song or perhaps the lyrics to a song that even though you've been playing them for so long that it kind of will hit you in a different way than when you originally intended because maybe the lyrics matter more now because of a current life situation that you guys are going through or some shit? Uh, I guess not. That's a good so. question, actually. No one's ever asked me that before. Um, I don't know. I don't know about you guys. Like, to me, it my relationship might change with it, uh, but not necessarily from a lyrical standpoint, like more from like an approach to singing it, for example, because like most of the studio vocals are usually the first take, like or, or the first couple times I've tried to sing it ever. Mm-hmm. Like I don't, I don't. Uh, that's how I write is by recording it. Um, so I'd say like you know once once you've been playing a song for a year, then you have a whole new approach to the way that you that you perform it or whatever. So now you know I suppose that changes for me. But I don't know about the lyrics like you guys. For, for me, sometimes playing it, some of the songs <laughs> will uh, actually have a little bit more of a connection to what's going on in, in your life. So right. that song can be. Uh, more, I don't know if you want to see a favorite, but even one that, that you just feel more that night and could be different at another day, but I, I have had that experience for sure. Mm-hmm. It's like screaming at a girl. like, did I stutter? Like, bitch, learn what I'm saying. Like, you know what I mean? Like, get on your knees already. Come on now. Wow. Like, you God, said I'm, that. Wow. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, it's very nice. I appreciate you guys coming in. Uh, you mentioned about the vocals. When you did By Now, because obviously that's my favorite song, and finally we're pushing it as a single. <laughs> finally. Uh when you do the whole by now and you take that was that all in one take like or did you kind of have that in your mind that that was what the the big wank stuff the, no the uh at the end the uh, kind of like the breakdown yeah 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 clearly yeah, you're talking say. about the big uh yeah, wank, the, i don't know yeah. maybe wang that was one take i remember that yeah yeah, yeah. sick you just got stuff like that. It's better to do less takes because the more you do, the more surgical it becomes, and then you're not improvising as much. Then you start okay. to work it out. Uh, I find stuff like that is usually best if it's like the first couple. Mm-hmm. To yeah, I would say, dude, wait to see the video to that song too, man. I was gonna say, uh, yeah, yeah, we already like went it. and filmed it. Really, it's, uh, really good. it's like a, it's like a. Uh, it looks like it, like Tarantino did it or something. It's really? like it's like like nine minutes long. Uh, it's like it's 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 like a true romance kind of story, story like concept, a Bonnie and like, Clyde on the run through Vegas kind of thing. It's sick. cool. Yeah, it's oh yeah, because cool. you guys did that in Vegas, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Was, was that sober time? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we shot it for a week. So. Yeah, you were there for a while. Yeah, 
Yeah, and that was in the beginning of the tour, I believe, right? Like that was right, right in before. between the Canada tour and the yeah. U.S. tour. Didn't you go see? Um, didn't one of you see? Uh, what should we call it from Motley Crue? Didn't you see Motley Crue? Oh, that oh was. I was talking about that. Yeah, I went yeah. Out to. How did to, that uh, go? Oh, it was good, man. It was a. Uh, they're a crazy, crazy band, dude. It was a fun show. Although it was interesting at, at the end when they finished playing, like most people that go see Motley Crue are like a little bit older, right? So. They're, you know, they, maybe they put the kids to or give the kids to the babysitter and they've gone out for the, the crazy show and they're in their Sunday best. And, and then Molly Crew finishes and then they grab these buckets of red paint and dump them all over the first like six rows of the audience. So everybody leaves the concert pissed off. Right. Yeah. And it's like the most horrible energy after you leave the show. So and just to impress in the first six rows trying to all outdo each other. Yeah, and, and then your, you're, your clothes you are walk stained. So and you're like, everything's ruined. So it's uh, a great way to not have return customers. Yeah, no <laughs> problem, yeah. Like what happened to you? The crew did it. Yeah. It's like yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, very cool. Thank you guys for coming in. Appreciate it. Uh looking forward to the live show. Uh did they prank you for your birthday yet? Did, 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 no. We were kind to him. To the the cake? So I read about far. the cake. It's too far in a tour, man. Okay. We're just like, we're yeah. just such, well, here's what I got to tell you. Alive. Because you told me what Down With Webster did to you guys. Yeah. But you guys didn't really get them back that well. You got to. Oh, we did. did oh, no. Oh, did, just, well, just, the, his description didn't really. <laughs> you were poor on your description of how it worked out. So. Well, what, what did we do? Well, we, think we, of we a band suits. of naked men wondering where their clothes are before they go on for their highlight song of the set. And they come oh, on stage is, and we're wearing the sweet clothes. Right. Yeah. Oh, that's glow crazy. in the dark. Yeah. yeah they had a spot. Sounds a lot better when he explains <laughs> yeah, it than right. when you explain it. It's like they all leave the stage and then they, they change into these flight suits that are covered in LEDs and they come back out in darkness and then they all turn turn on the LED suits at the same time and everyone screams and shit so they get back there and those suits were just gone and, and they then they're like what do we do off. and they're kind of pissed they're, they're like, like they just took the suits that's not even a cool thing to do right. it's not even funny they just right. hit our suits and then they came back on stage and we were out there wearing them already <laughs> 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 and with the lights turned on Perfect. So it, was, it, was, it was more of a stealing your thunder kind of prank awesome and then right after that then they jammed that jack in the box just full of angry lobsters fighting for their lives <laughs> did any of them bite you down there or no? Um, it was a little snippy, and but it was complete darkness. So you make your you, you got to crunch into a ball and just try and <laughs> try and avoid the lobsters. But it didn't have very long to figure it out. You they know, they put one on the floor tom, and I was like, okay, I see that. And then they ha also put one down by my hi hat stand where my left foot goes. <laughs> right. But it had climbed underneath, and I had I didn't see it. They're pointing at my leg, and I'm like, what the hell are you guys pointing at? And it was, like, right under where my foot was. And I'm like, oh, my God, I could have just squished the crab. <laughs> just like, damn, yeah, hell yeah. That's great. Good times. I wish it had, it had pinched Snipped. you. Oh, that would, yeah, would have been, <laughs> would have been good at hearing in the monitors. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Getting that through your inner ears. Also, I appreciate you guys coming on. Uh, and it was cool for you to post the uh, vocal warm-ups that you guys do. You guys gave away your secret. The, uh, oh, yeah. The pre-show stuff. Easy. Yeah, they, they posted oh, that. Oh, you that. Should do Billy Joel. For the longest time, you know that song. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh yeah. for the longest cool. time. I actually once recorded a oh, cover of that. Did yeah, that'd be a good vocal warm up though? Yeah, it's a good because there's so many different. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Taking credit for that. <laughs> all right. If you don't know now, you do know the Ballers themselves, Mariners Trench in New York City. Make sure to check them out all across the country. Much music video awards is coming Sunday. You only live once. If you live like us, once is enough. It's the Gun Show. Thanks. Nice. Thanks, man. Thanks, buddy. Always a pleasure seeing you, fucker.